In this video, we're going to look at how to install the libraries for the Air Instrument Expansion Pack instruments into a hard drive other than our OS hard drive. So I've seen this question raised on the Avid Audio Users Forum quite a few times, so I'll go ahead and answer it here. So for this example, let's start with Strike here. So we'll double click Strike to install it, and we'll go ahead and check this box. Now from here you might think, okay, let me hit install, and then I'll be able to choose where I want to install to. But if we take a look up to the top here, you'll see this red text that says, click install to continue, options to set the installation directory, or close to exit. So the button that we need to click here is options, which is pretty easily overlooked. So if we click options now, in this window, we can choose the VST install location, and that's the same for other programs like Hybrid and Loom, instruments that don't have, you know, sample libraries. And then the instruments that do have sample libraries, like Strike, Structure, Transfuser, and Velvet, we also have the other option of Factory Content Install Location. And we can see here in parentheses, it says, will be installed to Strike subfolder. If I was installing Structure, it would say the Structure subfolder, and so forth. So let me go ahead and click Browse here, and we'll navigate to my library's hard drive, and then to the Air Music Technology folder that I have already created. And if we look in here, you can actually see I have these libraries already installed, but we'll go ahead and continue with this anyway. One thing to note is do not create a folder called Strike. If I created a folder called Strike and chose that folder, then Strike would end up getting installed to the Air Music Technology Strike, and it would create its own Strike folder. So you'd have Strike, Strike, and then the actual content. So we'll go ahead and choose the Air Music Technology folder, and hit OK, and we'll go ahead and install this. Now well, this is going to take a while, so I'll be back when it's done. All right, so we're back, and now you can see our sample library looks a little bit different. That's because I went ahead and deleted the other instrument libraries, just so I can show you that the installers will indeed create these folders for you. So let's go ahead and show that with structure. We'll double click on structure here, and we'll check our box, and remember to click options and we'll choose the appropriate folder which is on our library's hard drive and the air music technology folder again that we created so we're installing to e air music technology that's perfect we'll go ahead and click ok and then install and this will take quite a while because the library is rather large for structure so now we'll just have to wait a little bit all right so the structure install was successful and if we check over here in our library's hard drive, you can see that, oh yes, indeed, the installer created the structure file path for us. So we don't need to manually create that. Just create the folder you want to install to. And Air Music Technology would be a good name for that folder, but you can name it whatever you want. All right, so that's the end of this video. I'm going to go ahead and continue installing the rest of the Air Instrument Expansion Pack 2. Just make sure you click that Options button before you hit Install. Choose your directory, click OK, and then click Install, and you'll have your library installed exactly where you want it.